Okay, so today we're going to go ahead and combine these three gas laws into what we call the combined gas law. So just to review um, very quickly, Boyle's law, if we remember P1, V1 equals P2, V2, um, and that's where we hold our temperature constant. Charles's law states V1 over T1 equals V2 over T2, and where we hold pressure constant. And then we have Gay-Lussac's law, which is P1 over T1 equals P2 over T2, where we hold volume constant. So um, we can combine all of these into P1 V1 over T1 equals P2 V2 over T2. And then we can derive um, any of these three gas laws when we hold um, one of those variables constant. So if we're, we can start with this combined gas law this is the only one we need to use now. And then we just see, is anything held constant? If something is held constant, say pressure is held constant, we get rid of pressure and we're left with Charles's law, which is V1 over T1 equals V2 over T2. If volume is held constant, we would get rid of volume and we'd be left with P1 over T1 equals P2 over T2. Same thing if our temperature remains constant, we would get rid of our temperature and we'd be left with Boyle's law, which is P1 V1 equals P2 V2. So moving forward, we're gonna use the combined gas law, P1 V1 over T1 equals P2 V2 over T2. And then if, if something is held constant, get rid of that variable and you're gonna be left um, with one of these three gas laws. So um, if nothing is held constant, we're going to stick with this combined gas law and then solve for the one variable that we need to. Um, so let's stick with this. Let's go ahead and turn to, in your, in your textbooks, let's turn to page 340 and do sample problem 12-4 off of this. Um, what I'm going to do is I'll, we'll go through this today and then I'll post a short quiz over... Um, those gas laws at the end of the week because we do have one more gas law to cover. So um, let's start with our P1 V1 over T1 equals P2 V2 over T2. And again, we're going to do sample problem 12-4, and that's on page 340 in your textbook. Okay. So this is our combined gas law, and it states the volume of a gas, our sample problem states the volume of a gas-filled balloon at 30 liters at 40 degrees Celsius and 153 kPa pressure. What will the balloon be, or what will the balloon have at a standard temperature and pressure? So we're looking at volume here. So, um, Volume of a gas-filled balloon. So here's our gas-filled balloon. Not balloon, balloon. That's a weird word, balloon. It looks weird. Gas-filled balloon. So it's 30 liters, which is our volume. So we're going to use this P1V1 over T1 equals P2V2 over T2. So 30 liters is our volume of our first gas. We'll just label this a number one for our first gas. 30 liters at 40 degrees Celsius. It has a pressure of 153 kPa. And it's asking what will the volume of the balloon have at standard temperature and pressure, which is STP. So we don't know our V2. Um, here's our volume of one. Here's our temperature of one. And here's our pressure of one. Our temperature of two, standard temperature and pressure, standard temperature and pressure, STP, is zero degrees Celsius. What is our pressure at STP? At sea level is 101.3 kilopascals. 
So we have everything we need um, to be able to solve for V2. First thing we have to do is take these two temperature values and convert them to um, Kelvin. And then we can go ahead and solve from there. So I'm going to get rid of this right here and keep our variables. We're going to use, I don't know, I erased it, P1V1 over T1 equals P2V2 over T2. This T1 is 40 degrees Celsius plus 273 is going to be 313 Kelvin. So I'm going to change that right here to 313 Kelvin for our temperature of 1. And then our temperature of 2 was 0 degrees. Plus 273 is 273. So um, at STP, or standard temperature and pressure, our temperature is 273 Kelvin. And our V2 is our unknown. So go ahead and plug this in. We're going to transfer this down and plug them in. So P1 is 153 times V1, which is 30. over T1 is 313 equals our P2 is 101.3 kPa. Our V2 is our unknown. And then our temperature of our second gas at STP is going to be 273. So we have a lot more numbers to deal with here. Um, but the math is no different. We can still cross multiply and divide. Um, so we're going to take this times that, 153 times 30 times 273 equals 101.3. I'm going to run out of room. I'm sorry, times 313 times our V2, which is our unknown. We want to isolate and solve for V2, so divide by 101.3 times 313. That gets rid of that. So we're left with V2, and then take this side, divide it by 101.3 times 313. So do the math, 153 times 30 times 273 divided by 101.3 times 313. Looks like we're going to go to three sig figs here, and we're going to get an answer when we do the math of 39.5 liters would be our volume at STP if our balloon originally started with these pressure, uh, with this pressure volume and temperature. Okay. Um, so you had to think a little bit there. It didn't give you those figures for standard temperature and pressure, but from our prior knowledge, we know that it was zero degrees Celsius and 101.3 kilopascals. So um, give you a couple practice problems to work on. That's all I want you to do today. And then um, I may assign a reading to get going on the ideal gas law. But Wednesday, um, we'll talk about the ideal gas law. Um, and then I will post a quiz or a test um, an assessment for you guys to work on for me to, to show that you know this stuff. So um, you can go ahead and forget those three gas laws. We can derive any of those gas laws from our combined gas laws. So, um, but I do like to start with those to give us a good understanding and get the practice of the math before we just jump into this. So keep working. I appreciate it. I miss you guys. Um, go ahead and get the work done for me.